Hello and welcome back to Persona 3 The Answer. This time we are running down to the boss in the hopes that we can try it again, this time without an enemy that happens or without an ally that happens to be weak to the enemy. So, we'll see how it goes. Um Yes, this one. Um basically it should be fine. Uh we have now an ally who has the ability which is strong against the enemy and does not have a weakness. This is going to be simple. We just run down there, we defeat the boss, no problem. Then we run all the way through, get to the next story segment, and then, in theory, also just trying to run past these guys, so I'm working out where the exits are at the same time. This did not go well. Alright, we did get hit for a second there. I thought we got away with it. There's only one. Uh, we're okay, we're okay. But anyway, as I was saying, um... Yeah, then we can just run through the next story segment and get basically um, into the next section of enemies without doing any grinding at all, which would be perfect. Also, I'm entranced by those circles in the background going along the uh, strip. Okay, interesting. What are you weak to? It seems um, okay, well, um, hit it. Persona! I mean, it might make things too easy, right? But when an enemy is only weak, basically, to the instant kill moves, it would be nice if, you, if the instant kill moves affected the enemy. It's my hot take. All right, let's try hammer. There we go, we got it. Right. Incredible! That was a perfect victory. Thank you. Um. Oh, probably we want tier 4 equipment, although XP is... Let's get the XP. All of those are pretty nice, apart from the um, level 3 equipment, which is also not that bad. I barely got any XP. I guess I probably should have gone for the other one. Okay. We also got a new piece of equipment here. The Orgon rifle is just an insane amount extra damage. Okay, that's just... Like, actually insane. Comparatively. Okay. Let's do a save. And let's go. I think it's this direction. I was right in terms of the direction that the uh, thing was in. I just got distracted by the loot. Okay. You, you can't be mad. Like, loot is very distracting. There we go. Right. Yes, it also means now when we have to shoot the boss, we're going to be in a much better position, having a weapon that does significantly more damage. Um, let's do a little save here. I think it could be that direction. In fact, I'm... Oh, never mind. Shouldn't have said anything. That was a really quick run through. Like, there was no issue whatsoever. I'm going to use your um, SP to uh, heal up, because I don't think we need to use anyone else's. Let's do a save. Um, that's fine. We'll do the save there. Right. Okay. Do a quick save. And we're ready to jump down. Yes. Now, what's interesting is we don't have a dedicated healer here. That's going to make things more difficult. As a dedicated healer could be Mitsuru. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put Akihiko on heal support. Let me try that. We're going to put Mitsuru on heal support. Leave it to me. No, she's going to have to be on anything. Yeah, because we Leave want her to me. attack. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit awkward. I'm going to hit these guys. And then we're going to do a Bufula on them. Let's do that. Persona! Dodge Ice is horrible to start. Yep, because she doesn't know what she's so weak to. She's using Fatal End on that guy, which isn't terrible, but... Tarunda's nice. That's a great first move. Lower the damage that's coming out. Okay. But now... In theory, Mitsuru can now start knocking them down. She is weak to fire, unfortunately. That's fine, but in theory, if we can knock the lions down, then we're fine, right? Because if we can actually knock them down, then uh, she won't get knocked down, then she can do her damage. So really, this is just a question about whether we can knock these guys down. 
is basically just RNG. Then we can shoot you for more damage than we were last turn. That's not bad damage. Okay. Bufula will make one stand up, unfortunately, but, you know, not a lot we can do about that. Tarunda lowers uh, attack of one, the one that's standing up. Perfect. We patch, but oh no, that makes it stand up. That's horrible. Okay. We're alive. She's gonna heal Akihiko. That seems fine. Um, I didn't know it had to repatch, but that is very annoying. Okay. Should have gone for the other one, I guess, because that's uh, the one that floored attack, but whatever. We hit it. We hit both. Nice. And then we're gonna shoot the castle. Nice. Okay, Bufula makes one stand up. There's not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. Sekunda means that the castle will be less accurate. I'm not sure if that's that useful, but okay. Used repa it used repatch for again. It's not okay. Live. She did. Alright. She's gonna heal herself. That's fine. Um, we're gonna go for... I'm almost tempted to not Bufula, but I think we should, because doing damage to these guys is still worth it for us, like, by itself, right? Even if they, they stand up again, it's still worth it. Wait, if I go to tactics, let me just have a look. What does knockdown say? We'll try to knock down the enemies. Huh. Um. I guess I can assign your target to be that target for this turn. That's probably a better way of doing it. Yeah, if I knock them down, then assign her target. Needs so we have to do tactics each turn, but I think that'll work. Yeah, I think this is going to work out better. Because now we can't repatch them both back up again. Lord Defense. Fantastic. Okay, it's tax, and they're higher again. So you can only repatch her one now. Now, it did happen to hit the one. Yeah. That's not good. Hey, she stood up. Wait, that means she can heal. I was going to say, it did happen to hit the uh, only one that was weak to it, but that's fine. So what we need to do now is I need to change Metis' tactic to Knockdown, followed by doing Bufula. If we hit both Bufulas, then we switch it back to assign target. This is what we need to do. It's the only way it's going to work. Okay. So now we change her tactic back to assign target. We assign it to that one. Then we shoot the castle. You won't escape. Good damage. Use fatal end again. She needs a heal. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, there's a heal. That's not bad. Okay. Could have done with a better heal, but that's fine. Make one stand up. Don't use fire on um, Mitsu. That's fine. Ish. Thanks for the big heal. Do we have a better heal? I guess we could use a bead chain. So knockdown, knockdown, bead chain. Yeah, so I'm going to sign you to knockdown. And I'm going to go Rafula. Please hit. Ah. Okay, well, she should try knocking down now. Okay. We might be in trouble. This isn't too bad. The freeze is nice as well. Dodge ice, not good. Heal on Metis, that's fine. Okay. Mazionka. That's okay. We lift. The other one has to stand up. Okay. And then there's a big heal on us. 
Okay. You still on knockdown? You are. Okay. Well, let's try this again. We just keep doing this till it works and we can beat Chain. Cool. Then we do it again. No! Okay, we almost got there. Bufula. So we're hoping Akihiko heals Metis. We're really hoping Akihiko heals Metis. There we go. It's gonna try Mazionga now. Again. It should, I think. Be Patra. That's horrible. Okay. Live? Oh, she didn't live. Okay. Well, we uh, effectively it hasn't changed too much here. We still try and knock him down. With Fula. That's gonna hit. Nice. Okay. We're finally back into what we need to do. Metis. Assign target. The castle. Right. Then we're gonna use a bomb of life on Mitsuru. Brings her back at full HP. You're gonna hit the castle. Oh, actually, you're just gonna stand up. That's fine. You're gonna use a heal onto yourself. I mean, that's fine. We can't just stands one up. This is fine. Okay, she so should heal this turn. Healing Akihiko. That's fine. Health now kind of reset. Switch you to uh, knockdown. Followed by Bufula. Okay. Followed by Bufula. Okay, we then switch her to assign target. That one. And now, we don't need to use a bead chain, we can just use a bead to uh, heal her up to full. Right. And now we're back to full HP, and they're below half. So this should be fine for us. We are running out of SP rapidly, but if we can kill the castle before we run out of SP, we're very happy with how it went. Okay. That's fine-ish. Just miss, or don't kill um, Mitsuru as much as you could. Bufula. Nice. Good damage. Now do it on the other one. Nice. That's what we're after. Then she uses Bufula again. That's like one too many, but that's okay. That's an extra 300 damage we weren't getting on the old strats. Okay, knock down. We're then going to use Bufula on this one. We only have to hit Bufula once to make this worth it. Nice. Now we switch tactics. You're going to sign target that one. Then we heal. I think we use a beat on Mitsuru. Don't think we need any more than that. All right, fatal end on the uh, castle. We're getting there. Tarunda on one of the lines is perfect. It's gonna use Repatra. Oh, it used full heal. That's not cool, but that's Meechum heal. Sorry, but like, what? I didn't even know it had that. That's horrible. Hopefully it only uses it once, but still. It is a little horrible. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're used on the castle, but that heals the castle! Did I never scan the castle? Oh, that's... That's painful that that's what got us, but okay. Your assigned target is fine. Shoot the castle. You won't escape! Okay. Fatal end on the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Maybe Orgia mode is good, but we can't assign target in Orgia mode, which is the problem with it. Yeah, lowered accuracy of that. Please don't heal again. Repatra is fine. We, we can live with Repatra. Repatra into strike attack is actually perfect. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Amazing is always. The Fula. Back to where we were. The Fula again on the low health line. Such Fantastic. Um, switch to Knockdown. We then go for Bifula on this one. Persona. We hit it. Nice. And got the freeze, which is good. Uh, tactics. Assign target. Castle. Shoot the castle. Okay, hit it again. Nice. One hit away. Secunda. Don't heal. It heals. Okay. That's fine. We need to just change target to focus on the castle. That's fine. Bufula. If you can knock these guys down, we'll be very happy this turn. Amazing as always. Okay. Wonderful. He's already done more damage than the healed. Okay, change to knockdown. We're then going to use Bufula on this one. We're going to hit it. There's no chance it misses. There was a chance it missed, but you know. <laughs> I'm being optimistic. You're going to be assigned target castle. You're going to be assigned target castle. And I'm going to shoot it. Nice. I think this will be enough for a kill, which is why I've switched Akihiko. There we go, Sonic Punch. We got it. Okay, Castle being dead means they have no more healing. It also means they have no way of removing the fact that we can knock them down. We want to put Orgia mode on for Metis, and then we just go wild. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. Because it's our turn next, so we, we know we're fine to do this. We killed one. Perfect. Um, tactics. Or gear mode. Um, heal support. This is fine. Bufula. Let's go. I think we. I think we got it. Dodge, that's fine. Because she should now use uh, her one on it. Cool. All that attack. We might as well do it because otherwise she'll attack it again anyway. So, this is fine. There's still a chance it crits us and kills us, which would be annoying, but, you know, hopefully it doesn't do that. That was the one I was worried about. Okay. This is fine. Bufula. All that attack. We did it! The enemy is getting stronger too. No, it isn't. The enemy is dead. We got 6,553 experience and two shiny beards. Nice. We're level 37. And that's that. Nice. Okay. Well, we got two magic mirrors that reflects a magic attack and two bead chains that's a full heal to the entire party. We actually didn't end up using any bead chains, which was fantastic. Uh, let's do a save. And let's head back. That was actually surprisingly okay. Now the problem is we're not gonna have any more uh, Persona users that we can drag into our party from the backup line because we like that's what we've effectively been doing. We just take the leveled up Persona user and use that to help us win the fight. We can't do that from now on because um, there's no one else right to add in unless like they add in some random person. But yeah, let's replace here. Cool. That's our party. Uh, I'm okay with the party lineup, but actually, uh, I'm gonna take Akihiko out and re-add him. 
Yeah, remove from party. Then we're going to re-add Akihiko. The reason for this is that Akihiko should go after um, Yukari, ideally, so Yukari can heal first. Right. Um, well, I guess we're just going to run through to the next bit of story. Okay, cool. Straightforward. Um, ideally, we want to fight nothing on the way to the next bit of story. And then we can fight enemies in the next next zone. And we should get major XP bonuses for being underleveled. That's the hope. We'll, we'll see if it's true. But that's the hope. If not, we'll, we should still level off the fact that they have higher XP bases. The atmosphere has changed again. It's still far off, but I can sense a strong enemy presence from the lower floors. Oh, this reaction. <gasps> I'm sensing the strange reaction again. It's probably that black shadow. I'm trying to draw a bead on it. No good, I can't get a lock. I'll keep trying. Be careful down there. Okay. Uh, no enemies so far. Bit weird. Staying at the edge. Don't think this is the right way unless it's that corner there. I'm gonna wait for that enemy to move. Hopefully I'll just reset the one behind us as well. No, I need you to move into the other corner, please. Okay, go, 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 go. Yes, it was here. Perfect. Called it. Good. Right. This one. Quick save. We can run past this enemy safely, because this is the only route, so therefore we're not going to have to backtrack on ourselves. Uh, it's not there. It could be behind us. Let me just try and use the corner to check. I don't think it is. So we can go straight on here. Yeah, that's an item. And there's our way down. Cool. Next floor. Uh, this way. This way. Nope, it's not there. I do uh, forget occasionally, but I've remembered now that you can just stare through walls if you position the camera right. Ooh! Uh, Mikazuchi Munachika is a uh, two-handed sword usable by Akihiko. Not Akihiko, by Junpei, which is why we can't use it. Right. You're slowly getting closer to the strong enemy presence. I'm going as fast as I can, Fuka. You're very close, actually. Please be careful. So she said enemy presence. So that implies that there's another boss here. Also 18,000 yen. Oh, very nice. Yeah, she's definitely implying a second boss on this section, rather than it going straight into a story bit. Okay. Um, don't know. So far it's followed the pattern. Uh, we know we can run straight forward here. I'm just waiting for it to turn to a different angle to make it easier. Real. Uh, this is still fine to run straight forward. I think one of our others might have aggroed, but we might be okay. Yup. Ooh, that was dangerous, but we had to do it because we have to gain aggro. So, oh, we got hit. Oh, somebody did get caught so earlier. I'm going to use the Trafuri gem to lead combat. Yeah, nope. Um... Yeah, we had to go and gain aggro there, because otherwise the um, you guys would have grabbed us immediately. I think that Yukari is likely to go into a fight, unfortunately. This looks like a dead end. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Nope, that was the way we needed to go. Frenzy beads, what's that do? Frenzy beads. Uh, damage goes up when enraged. As far as I know, there's not a way to put yourself in Enrage, so it's kind of an odd thing to get the damage up while Enraged items. I can make that. If it goes one further over here. There we go. Uh, it is this direction, fortunately. Yep, we wanted to gain aggro so that it chases us and not our party members, and then we can run it through. it again. I wonder if it's a shadow. I 
wish I could tell for sure. But it feels just like... Hmm. Okay. Feels just like a former party member, perhaps? Okay. So this definitely implies we're getting a boss fight. Okay. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought we were getting a boss fight, but... Okay. I guess they're switching up to uh, two bosses and then story. That's kind of what they did in Tartarus. Yeah, okay. I mean, I just saved, so we're fine. I think. Right. Let's try it. Shadows confirmed. And wait, I sense the same unknown presence as before. Could it be? If there are shadows waiting for us like this, could that be what's summoning them? Oh, well, that's interesting. Incoming shadows. If he's summoning, that's an odd one. Okay. Give me a I'm gonna guess these guys are probably weak to fire, given what the previous ones did. But let's try Mabutu. Okay, got healed on the last one. That's annoying. That takes 25% of your HP, I believe. Garula? Alright, so wind is the right thing here. This is very similar to the previous fight so far. Okay. Except we don't have a wind persona. I hate charm, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Did I scan? I hope I scan. I did. Okay, because now she's using Garula. So we could try and just burst these guys. Look how much damage they're taking. Yeah, maybe the plan is burst them. Let's uh, switch you to Orgia mode. Orgia uh, mode, Yukari, you can act freely. Heal support is fine for you. Uh, do I have AoE wind? I have some. This magic mirror. Take this. this actually seems like a good setup for magic mirror. Oh, wow, look at that. Magic mirror on virus bread. Absolutely destroyed. Ooh, ow. Don't overdo it. Okay. Well, we're going to want to heal here, but still. Magic Mirror and Virus Breath. Absolutely insane. Okay. Gurula, followed by Gurula. Yep. Okay. I don't know if I scanned that. That's okay. Uh, I think this turn it has to be Bead Chain. Yep. So we know that if we do this fight again, Magic Mirror turn one goes very hard. <laughs> okay. You're pretty good too, Takeba. There's another Gorilla. Huge damage being done to it. That's annoying, but like not a lot we can do about it. Honestly fine. Not an issue. Okay. Gorilla, Gorilla. Maybe this is a kill? Dodge wind! Oh, it is the same fight as the last fight. Um, Magic Mirror would be cool, but I don't think it's worth doing. Um, do we have a wind persona? I don't think so. Well, we have her, but she's not really a wind persona, so to speak. She's like, I would like to die persona. Uh, which ain't gonna work very well for us. Oh. Okay. Shoot it! Okay. I couldn't figure out what to do there. I was like, I guess we just shoot it. It's fine. Is this a kill? Not quite. Okay. Ow. Well, we can beat chain that. Yeah, I won't buff out. 
please, please kill the small one. Okay. Speed chain. I don't think I have this charm. Unfortunately, I would definitely use it if I had it. Ow. Please recover. Alright, um... Bomb of Life onto Yukari. Okay. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, thank you. He is discharged. That's good. That was a very funny one, though. Okay, so there's nothing she can do. I should put her on heal. If she thinks there's nothing she can do, that means she's not... That means she can't harm the boss. Probably means that... Wait, no, she could use Pierce on the boss. Why is she not using that? I don't know. Anyway, shoot it. It's blocked. Okay. Well, that explains. Beat chain next turn. Uh, AoE heal is fine. Still think beat chain might be necessary for, for like, survival. Try a bead chain. Take this. Okay. It was uh, necessary. Okay. We would like a res on Metis, please. Hang in there. Mm, that's okay, but like, I'd love a res on Metis, please. Okay. So it spams Heat Wave. I mean, that is just annoying. Hang in there. I would love it if there was some way of indicating to the uh, to my allies. I would like you to just res so I can heal next turn. But there isn't, so I guess I'm going to use Bead Chain. And we're just going to hope. Miss. Thank you. Right. Lower this defense, which is good. Yukari should res. On her Hang turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Okay. Next step. How do we survive it doing that again? I don't know. I could try fire. We haven't tried fire on this thing. I think it's probably not weak to fire, though. Have we got anything else that's worth actually applying here? I could ice break it. Could lower its attack. That would probably be beneficial to us, I would think. It does mean we have to switch to a much weaker persona, but honestly, I think we ah, oh, but then it's weak to fire. All right, we'll we'll take the hit. We'll take the hit. I have to apply it to Runda, just so we can live. Okay. Oh come on! Don't overdo it. Ah, no! Why didn't you use discharm? <laughs> Okay, Discharge. Nope. Gonna heal Metis. Lovely. Metis has been charmed. Use Charm D. I love how she's just shouting at us. Use this! You idiot! Why have you not used it yet? Like, okay, I'm like working on it. Um I don't have it. Alright, I'm gonna try fire. Because we haven't tried it yet. We might as well do something. Against the enemy, you know? Oh, come on. Uh. Here. Thank you. I really appreciate that someone else has this charm. Um, Gale Slash? Let's try it. Ow. Double crit! Oh, wonderful! I love double crit. It's so fun. Right. Let's rest. Um, this is fine. A fight is possible. The problem is we have nothing that can actually harm the boss. That's the that's the problem on that one. And heat wave does too much damage. So how do we fix that issue? Uh, I guess if we had reflect, that would fix uh, fix the issue. 
Okay. Let's head back. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we could potentially buy the accessory that increases wind damage. That could be useful. Hmm. That might help us. Being just tankier would also help us. Uh, having a wind-based persona would be good, although, like, it didn't affect the boss, so... Hmm. Okay. Kinda just wondering what it might be weak to now. How much... Yeah, let's go see how much this uh, extra damage wind one is, because that'd be useful. At least for one member of our party. Uh, I want to sell the... Treasure coin for... Okay, treasure coin for 10,000 isn't bad. And then the two shining beards. Nice. Okay. Uh, is it... Yeah, it's the Bayou Bracers I want to buy. Yes. No. Okay. So those are going to be for Yukari. Then... Uh, do you sell attack mirrors? That could be useful if you do sell attack mirrors. Ooh, you can buy water that... Oh, that, that's the wrong stuff. We want this stuff. Yeah, we still don't have enough emeralds for it. We do sell attack mirrors, but we need diamonds, and we've never seen a diamond. Protection Sutra could also be okay. Um, I might buy a uh, protection suit for or two. Yeah, let's buy some protection sutras. Yeah, let's buy two of them. Okay. I think we can try that again, maybe. I think just doing that might be enough. Set up magic mirror on turn one. Protection suit for turn two. Yeah, that could work. Hello. Uh, I would like to give you, instead of that, the Vayu Bracers to increase wind damage. Yup. Okay. And let's go. Okay. I think we might fight enemies on the way down as well, just to gain a little bit of uh, XP. I think that could be useful. I am also noticing that I think... I'm thinking about it. I think what we'll need to do is we'll need to get um, Metis probably to kill the second half of the boss. I'm guessing that she's able to hit it and she'll be the only one who could do damage. The problem is Metis never actually got a turn. So we might need to get her to be a bit tankier. Um, when does she get her next thing? She gets her next thing at 40. Okay. Um, is she using, I think she's using her base defense thing as well. Yeah, so we could do that. And do you get your next thing? We could get her better equipment. You get your next best, you get your next thing at 37. Elect boost is not going to make a huge difference in this fight. And then you get your next thing at 36. Me, Patra, I don't think removes charm. I could be wrong. Wait, Charm D surely removes Charm, right? Why does she use this Charm instead of Charm D? What? Wait, yeah. She has the Remove Charm ability, right? That's what that is? Why would she not use it? Huh. Interesting. She uses this Charm instead. I mean, it's the same thing, but like... Why? I guess because everybody has access to this Charm? I don't know. Okay, I think these guys might be weak to wind, but let's try ice anyway. We could also try upgrading our persona before we next do it for real, as in the boss fight, but we'll see. Ow. It's weak against Garu skills. Well, I did tell you it was wind. Alright, let's see how much damage this does now. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's a pretty big increase on how much it was doing before. Keep going. Okay. You're yeah, happy with that. Here's our chance for an all out attack. Let's do it. So, we hit them all. 
I made up my mind. And there we go. Shuffle time. Uh, I'll take the XP here. Number five. Number three now. I think still number three? Yeah, okay. 1,200 experience. Uh, King Frost leveled up to get. Mabufula. Not particularly useful. Um, but is better than Mabufu. But is much better than Raging Tiger as well. But like Raging Tiger in theory has a use. While Mabufu no longer really has a use. Okay. So King Frost is max level. That kind of implies we shouldn't be using King Frost anymore. Yeah. So we, we did one fight in this area, by the way, and got three level ups. That's kind of an indication. Either that you you happen to be exactly at the amount to level up, or that uh, you're under level. So, let's see. That tank is weak to electricity. I'm going to use Mabofula. Hopefully one of them is weak to this. Nope. We did freeze one, though. Fatal end. Locked. Garu. One of them is weak to that. Nice. Oh, it's weak to nothing. Oh, never mind. I thought it was weak to electricity. I guess I just used electricity on it, because that was our most powerful move at one point. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Back to act freely. That's fine. Um... I don't know. Uh, let's go for finding out that one's weakness, and I'm going to use hammer on this one. It worked. It wasn't weak, but it worked. Okay. Garula for heavy damage onto the lion wheel. The Zeo should also hurt the lion wheel. Does it? Okay, never mind. Last resort sounds bad. That sounds like it will, um, yeah, blow up. I think that the tank tends to use power charge. Never mind. Everything I say is wrong. Um, but yeah, I think it tends. To, yeah, it does have power charge. I think it tends to use power charge, and then um, yeah, then it will. Yeah, let's form a thought. It'll use power charge, then it will try and do an AoE like attack. I think we're okay. That's good damage. Dionga. And then we get the kill because she's just gonna wait. Okay, that's fine. At least it didn't charge before doing that, so we can uh, uh, tank it. Nice. No that fight should be worth a lot of XP. That's three powerful enemies. Let's go for the multiplier and the XP. It's the second slot. Now in the first slot. And we got it. 1,500. That's reasonable. Yes! My skill level has increased. Good, good. Glad to hear your skill level has increased. Right, let's see how far we are off like the next level. 2,000. Yeah, so we're leveling up at like every two fights right now. That's pretty good in terms of level up. Right? Uh, don't know about you. That's okay. Let's do Mabufula. Okay. Next one. Garula onto um, Lion Wheel. Which she'll do again, because she's just trying to do the most damage possible. If you're wondering, by the way, why I didn't get a Garula uh, thing for her, as in the same gem I've given Yukari, uh, the reason why is basically, I think that that shouldn't be what she uses most of the time. She should be using, uh, like, her physical attack, if we're, pl if we're uh, in the optimal situation. So she really needs something that helps with that. Just why she has the uh, heal. Right. Hit it. Fatal end. You know what would be nice to get from shuffle times? Be nice to get the personas. I'm just thinking about that now. That would be like ideal. I couldn't finish it off. 
Okay, power charges. That's fine. This is what I expected it to do. Uh, and then we will use a Bufula. And that will get us a shuffle time. We should probably grab some personas here, just for fusion. Shuffle time. Um, money. Three. Okay. There we go. That got us very little, but that's okay. Um, back this way. An item. Sure. We got it. Second shot. Uh, same fight again. I'm just gonna hit this. Deliberately trying not to um, hit either of the others because I wanted to actually tell us what the uh, one on the ground is weak to. In case it's weak to something else we can use. Okay, there's Garula. There we go. Just, just uh, Garu. That's fine. Oh, she's going for that. I guess because it still has lower HP, even though it's um, a nice random crit. But yeah, it has lower HP, even though it's at full HP. If that makes sense, right? Its full HP number is lower than uh, the lion's like half HP number. That's okay. Doing the AOE one here, just so we can kill the lion, so now she'll focus on the other one. Cool. Do it twice, and that's the kill. And now we just focus on the attack. Okay. Trying to charm the tank. Didn't work. Really would rather you didn't do that, but that's okay. Should put your back on full assault, I guess. That's fine. Uh, full assault. Right. Uh, Pufula. Cool. Um, she's gonna hit it and then probably Akihiko's gonna kill it. Yep. There we go. Dead. I'll do my best until the I got a 647 experience and frenzy beads. Ah, more things to sell. That's how I'm seeing that. Uh, I'm gonna start making a move on this floor, mainly because well, I would love to find a way back up before we continue the rest of the grinding. We're a little low on SP, so it good to know where our way back up is. That's fine. Beat to win. All right. I'll let somebody with a win skill uh, do this one. Nice. Let's go. And go down. Shuffle time. Um, we're looking for the four equipment one. Second slot. I think that was third slot. Yeah, it was. Tiger hide belt. Uh, we can sell that. Unless we're looking to equip multiple people, which we're not really looking to do. There's our way back up. So that's good. So now we can grind in this area. Because we know which way we're going. Oh. Turn. There we go. Yeah, so now we can grind in this area so we're out of, X, uh, out of uh, SP. You're weak to win, huh? Cool. I'll let the AI handle this one. There is one. Now's your chance. Is she gonna hit the same one again? Of course. Yeah, what else would she do? Okay, Garula. She's hitting a different one. Okay. So I think she's trying to knock them all down. Instead. Yeah. Good job, Takabaki. There we go. And then here's the last one. Cool. 
let's go. So I guess she naturally aims for knockdown, so Metis will naturally aim to try and kill one thing. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Orobas, number one slot. Now in the number two slot. Orthrus, sorry, wrong one. Wrong dog, but that's fine. There's our way back, uh, well, I guess back up. I said back down, because that's what we we were doing in Tartarus, but our way back up makes more sense. Please turn around when I do that. There we go, thank you. Fight this one. This might be the last fight, depending on how it goes. Give me a sec. Don't know I'll about these the guys. Uh, let's go for a Mabufula. Just to do damage. Last one we got with Hammer, so it's not really the best uh, one that we could have done. She just used Buffula, I guess because she knows it works. It's weak electricity. electricity, okay, well, I, I think I know what's going to happen here. There. Oh, he used a single target version instead of the AoE. Why would he do that? Okay, sure. Then the last one. Why would he not just use the AoE that he has? Oh well, whatever. Maybe it's because he thinks it won't do enough damage to be worth it or something. Anyway, that worked. Um, one or five. Okay. That was worth a ton of XP. We're now level 38. It's 5,000 to the next level, so still very low amount to the next level. Got more magic on King Frost. Try not to level King Frost challenge. Um, failed miserably. <laughs> Continues to level King Frost as your main persona exclusively. Okay, um, that's us got a lech boost, so now we get a heal upgrade at next level. That is worth getting before we do the boss, right? The, the next level heal? That means instead of doing his little, like, you know, 50 HP heals that aren't even worth your time, he's healing most of a health bar. That's definitely worth it. Okay. Only one enemy. You Weak to win. We might as well let something with wind hit it. Okay. Let's go. They all hit it. And we can get whatever we're going to get out of this in the shuffle time. Uh, level 4 equipment. It's here. Six shot. That's what we already have. Um, that is the same weapon. Oh no, yeah, that's one. That's what we already have and are not using. That's the other part of that's what we already have. Um, well, we might as well grab that for free. An emerald. Ooh, emeralds are what we need for the uh, SP recovery. Okay, hit it. There are three of them. Strike um, first. Where are we? Wait. And now we let these guys handle it. Persona. There's Garula. There's Followed by Garula. On the same target, I think. Yeah, so she always hits the same target by the looks of it. While Yukari does always go for the... Uh... Yeah, she goes for the knockdowns. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of weird in this game that all the uh, party members do actually have like a unique... Um personality, right, in combat, on top of the fact that they have tactics you can give them. I might as well just kill this one to stop the confusion. Oh, you're going to kill the other one to stop confusion? I couldn't think so. Right. That's fine. And then Yukari can get the last hit. Yeah, then Yukari can get the last hit, as I said. Uh huh. Shoot it. Okay. Then wind. And then we're gonna walk back up to the uh, teleporter because uh, I don't want to poison individually. 
does that sound? It's like a big pain. So let's do this. I don't even know if we have this point. I don't think we do. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would like number one. Okay. Uh, the reason we want this one is so we can fuse out of it, basically. Hey, and the other two leveled up. That's great. Cool pass. Uh, it shouldn't matter, actually, on this version of... Uh, what? He caught me? Oh, no. Uh, I'm terrified. Run. It worked. It didn't work. Okay. I was right to be terrified. It's weak against, weak, weak against wind. Um, did I skip her a full turn when we did that? Uh, I don't have winds, really. I'm going to try and escape. Cool, we got it. But yeah, it shouldn't matter if your party members are dead, because... Um, oh, this is going to be awkward. I think I can do this. There we go. You just need to turn at the right angle so that you can't attack it. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't matter that your party members are dead because there's no condition system in this um, mode, right? The moment you get back, they're all healed and ready to go again. Unlike Tartarus, where you had to like wait a day or something, this is fine. Uh, okay, cool. Well, um, let's have a little look at this before we uh, wrap things up. Yeah, let's see what we can make. We're a little bit higher level, so we should be able to find some good things. Let's have a look. So we've picked up some new things. We can make Clotho. Clotho is a Garula one. Yeah, it's not bad. Weak to fire would make it not ideal for what we're dealing with on the boss, but actually this is not bad. Wind boost next level. It's um, counter and rebellion. We can do better than rebellion, but yeah, I think that actually I'm going straight for this one. Are these the only two abilities it can learn? Starting to feel like these are the only two abilities it can learn. Uh, you learn them in a different order. Okay, it also gets this charmedy. This one seems like it's set up for fighting that boss. I mean, apart from the fact that it's, you know, weak to fire, but... Okay, let's try it. Yeah, we're not spending a long time looking at each one. Now, if we could make a persona out of cloth, though, that passes along uh, Garula and um, Charmedy, then we would be very happy. Uh, let's see. We can make a Rajanaga, which is still weak to fire, so it doesn't fix our issue. And then nothing else. Okay. What about you? You can make a, na a Nata Taishi. Okay, so one of these things. I don't think that's the right option for us. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the right way to go. We'd be losing our ice one, basically. Uh, let's go triangle spread. Clotho, Florus. We can make a Taraka. Okay. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's not really what we're looking for, though. But it's kind of cool. Uh, Floros, Queen Map. Oh, wait. Uh, I should be doing this. So, Clotho, Queen Map. Mate, Taraka. Taraka. Uh, Lachesis, but uh, that's not really what we're looking for. Floros, Queen Map. Make uh, Saki, Mitama, next level. Okay. Make Mothman. King Frost. Make a, a Rajanaga. Okay. Or make King Frost. And then these are the same. Okay. So I think Clotho's fine. Yeah, I think Clotho works for us. Let's go with that. So now we have a wind based one that we can use. So we can also participate in the wind based stuff and we can get to phase two of the fight, which I'm, isn't really phase two, but. I'm calling it phase two, which is basically that um, we've killed the two small ones, now we're facing the big one. Yeah. The problem is, we're still taking like a ton of damage from heat waves, so I don't really know what the answer is apart from getting equipment. I guess we could just like, you know, get equipment. Buy defense ups. 
That would probably work. Yeah, raise defense, buy defense ups, so no, don't take your entire health that bar and damage. Yeah, that would probably work. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.